the nice thing about staying at the uh, resorts here uh, for Universal is you get into the park, the water park half an hour early, their regular theme parks an hour early. And then of course they have their transportation, which buses, they have a boat. We took the bus, it took you know about five minutes to get here, which is pretty nice. And you get in a different ex entrance and exit uh, than the rest of uh, the folks. So you don't have to sit in all the uh, lines and crowds, which is kind of cool. All right, so just like any uh, water park, the earlier you get here, the better seats you can get. That's why it's nice to get the early admission because then you can kind of get your pick of seats, which is nice because as this thing starts to fill up, you're not gonna have any uh, seats left. So Volcano Bay does things a little bit different. They give you these uh, wristwatches. And then what you do is if you wanna go on a specific ride, you push this up against the ride and then it gives you uh, the time that you need to return for the ride so you don't have to stand in line, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, unlike a lot of places where they make you wait in line, bring your tubes, everything's kind of available to you. So just a, a different way of uh, doing things. And by the way, there are slides inside that volcano. Yeah. Not a bad view. Yeah. We get to look at the giant volcano and watch people plummet down from this crazy waterfall that's absolutely insane. And we can sit here and laugh and drink at the same oh, time. Yeah, this is where they shoot out, it's right here. Oh yeah. Anyway, this thing is just a straight shot right out of that volcano. Uh, and it's a drop floor, so when you stand up there, the floor drops out from under you and then you just drop Almost 90 degrees. It's crazy. Pretty steep. Insane. Uh, so far, the park's been excellent. Uh, a lot of really high intense rides, but probably the best water park we've ever been to, as far as like yeah, rides and go. Yeah, everybody's been so super nice. Yeah, so and cool. it's uh, the weather's not great, so it's not busy at all, which has been awesome for us. He says on the weekends it's a nightmare, so let that be the tip that we always share. Yeah. Don't do these things on the weekend. So we just finished our day at Volcano Bay. That was awesome. Great water park. Unfortunately, you couldn't bring the GoPro on any rides, which is unfortunate because a lot of other parks allow you to take your uh, cameras with you, but they just didn't allow it here. So unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that we have is just kind of the outskirts of some of the rides and uh, the scenery and what have you, but the rides were fantastic. It was a lot of fun. We got perfect weather because there was no, um, it was cloudy and, and somewhat stormy. Um, I would say if you can find a crappy day, you're gonna you're gonna be way better off because There's the guy was no saying way weekends. He's the bartender that we talked to said the weekends are a nightmare, and then if you come on a hot sunny day, everybody's coming to the water park, right? right? So we got super lucky. But what did you think of? We we were scared this morning. We woke up and uh, opened the curtains and saw all the clouds and checked the forecast because it was a high of 77 with like 10 mile an hour winds. And we were just like, man, that's going to be a bummer. But it ended up being perfect. We were cold maybe twice. Yeah. Um, got sprinkled on a few times, but it was it was absolutely perfect with nobody here. It's like 4 o'clock now, and it's, it's that's hot. I'm hot it's now. It's windy, but it's, yeah, but it's still warm. I mean, it's, yeah. Um, 
The park was awesome. The the scenery, I mean the flowers yeah. they have, you think you're in Hawaii. Right, I mean it awesome. is it's, a, it's just beautiful around yeah. there. Music, all that stuff. Uh, having that little wearable on your wrist, that was awesome. You just it, if it was a busier day, that would have came in really handy because there was only one ride, which was the coaster, the aqua coaster that got up to like 80 minutes. Uh, but everything else was just ride. You didn't even need it. You just got on rides. We, at the end of the day, we didn't, at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, we didn't wait more than a minute. It took us longer to climb the stairs than it did. We were so tired by the time we got up the stairs, we didn't even want to go down because we wanted to take a break. So. Right, we would pause at the at the platform before right. the final ascent to, to get on it so that we could at least have a little break, catch our breath, and right. then go on the ride. So this is definitely the best if you're looking for just a variety of everything. I mean, yeah. they've got everything. Um, if you're looking for something more for the kids, Blizzard Beach was probably our best pick. And then Aquatica is just a good park, but you have to get there. And this same one on a either a, not a very hot sunny day and not on a weekend, or you'll be miserable. Unless you just want to sit in a tra chair and play in a wave pool, you would hate coming here and standing in a line for 30 minutes in a, on a hot and day. So. I like this one best because it had a lot of tube rides. Yes. And I love the tube rides. And instead you didn't of, have to carry them. And yeah, you didn't have to carry them. They, right. they brought them at least halfway up for you, if not all the way to the top. Yeah. So. It was, uh, Super it was a much cool. better, better tube experience here. We're, we're definitely bummed to be leaving this one, whereas Aquatica we left in four hours and we're happy to leave because it was so busy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed our uh, time at uh, Volcano Bay and sorry again that we couldn't get more uh, video of the slides, but they just wouldn't allow it. So anyway, 